In today's episode, we have a dime hunt for you guys. Now, I went to two banks. At the first bank, I picked up this box. And when I opened it up and checked inside, half of the box was actually filled with what looked to me like ARP rolls. So I went to another bank right after, picked up another 25 rolls to complete this box. So we have a full box to hunt today. Some of these rolls have some really weird looking kind of green painter's tape on it. But uh, I did see some numbers on there, like 21. So hey, maybe we'll get lucky. There'll be like 19, 21 silver dimes in there. But I seriously doubt it. But there's not too much to look for when it comes to Canadian dimes. Really, after the year 1968, all you're looking for is 1970s. That is the key date. But we're going to be looking for silver. Maybe we can get a 67 silver. Maybe we can get something a little older than that. But I'm really holding out some hope. It's been a little while since we've done a dime hunt. So I'm really excited for this one. Before I can start tearing into this box, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more coin roll hunting coin collecting videos just like this i'd also like to mention that i do have two bundles off to the side of clear rolls and i did see a few inners that look promising when i do get to those i will show you as i come along i think i have 15 rolls on the side but first i'm going to get into this box then i'm going to hit up those loose rolls what do you say we start this hunt off with a bang let this hunt begin all right i am bringing you guys in i'm about nine rolls down right now i'm just flipping over all the rolls that i have gone through and i haven't found anything too too crazy yet i did find one 1968 made sure to check it with the magnet and it is a nickel dime and i did find one 1977 that is looking pretty close to an ms state and it has a really nice cameo on the obverse so i'm going to hold on to this one and i did find two 1969s now i did throw these under the microscope and it is a little tricky with these 1969s but as far as i can tell they are both the small dates that one right there is a little worn out so it's a little harder to tell but nothing too crazy but what i am bringing you in for right now is we have our first foreign find of this hunt it is going to be a british five pence which is a very typical coin to find when you are hunting dimes it has a little bit thicker of a rim so i could see as soon as i pulled it out of the roll but i always hold on to these foreign finds one day maybe i'll sell it to the coin shop or i'll just uh, save it until when maybe one day i go over and take a take a trip over the pond to the united kingdom and i'll spend it there but we got a nice little foreign find we're on the board i'm going to hold on to the 68s and the 69s and keep going through see if we can find ourselves some more goodies all right guys i just opened up the 10th roll and we have a coin here that is looking very promising so i thought i would pull it out and we would see what we have together here let's take a little look see oh that is looking promising it's not a young head but i think this is definitely a silver guys what year is that i think it's 1968 so i'm gonna throw it down right there and let's check it with the magnet but i am 99.9 .9 sure that we just got our first silver of this hunt guys a boom we are on the board the date is so small and so worn out there i can't see if it's a 68 or a 66 but it is a diadem obverse but man only 10 rolls in we already got our first silver it's a little scratched up but we will take it we still got lots to go here. One of the tricky things about hunting coins in Canada is sometimes the nickel edges can actually throw you off. Like this right here, looks like it could almost be another silver, but I'm almost willing to bet that that one, let's actually pull this out and take a look. What is this? 1975, so see right there, that one looks pretty similar, but that right there is not a silver. But you can be very easily tricked into thinking that one of these silver coins is a nickel coin when you are hunting dimes here in Canada, but man, my happy hunter i've been on a bit of a dry streak when it comes to silver lately we just broke the streak now i'm going to keep going through this roll keep going through this box tune you guys back in if i find anything else just like this bad boy right here all right i am two rolls down from that last find and we have something that looks pretty interesting here at first when i pulled this out i thought it might be a silver i already took a little look at it and then when i pulled it out i realized that this is not actually a coin at all this is a token i have uh, seen these before i don't know what this is made of but i believe it's aluminum but this is a toronto transit token and i'm not too sure the year 
but I'm not too sure how much they are worth either, but I do not think that it is worth 10 cents, so it might be a bit of a loss, but that's okay. It's still a pretty interesting little find here. I will hold on to, pretty cool. You don't see these too often when you are coin roll hunting, but it fits in pretty well with the dimes in there, pretty similar size, but I'll throw this up on the board. I'll keep going along and tune you guys in if we find anything else. All right, guys, I am just one roll down and it looks like we have another foreign coin. I don't know what is going on here. If someone is playing games with me, someone loaded this box up with all these foreigns on purpose. But let's pull this out. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what this bad boy is. This is a Jamaican $1 2014. I'm not too sure how this translates in terms of the exchange rate, but I think it may be a loss. But it is still a pretty cool coin. This one is looking pretty frosty there on the reverse. This must, of course, be the obverse. But pretty cool coin to find here it has a thick rim so that may also be a 20 cent loss it has almost the width of two dimes in there but i'm still gonna hold on to it like i hold on to all my foreign finds and i'll keep going through this roll see if i can't find anything else to get in there all right i'm starting to get pretty close to the halfway mark now and i just found something pretty interesting here now i don't know how i missed this on the edge check because it is quite a bit wider than the other dimes but this right here is actually pretty cool this is a 1958 republic of venezuela five centimos so when i saw this i was really excited and i went online and looked it up because i thought maybe this was silver but after looking it up it is actually made of copper nickel so it is not silver but it is the oldest uh, coin so far in this hunt and it has a pretty cool design right there i don't know which is the obverse or the reverse but i'd say this is probably the reverse right there but a pretty cool coin to add to the board with our huge pile of other foreign coins we have i have them all scattered all over the place up there but this hunt is going quite splendidly i'll keep going along and see if maybe we have some more foreign coins or maybe just maybe some more silver to top this hunt off Alrighty guys, we are really getting down to the nitty gritty. I got less than 10 rolls left to go. We haven't found anything too, too interesting. A few more 68s, a few more 69s, but I did just find something that's looking very interesting. Now this may look like a shiny new dime to you guys, but this is an 86 dime. And if you look at that finish on there, that is so reflective that I'm gonna say this has to be either a specimen or a proof to be in this kind of condition. Ugh, I don't want to handle it too much because I'm going to get my dirty fingers all over it. But this is one of the nicest old dimes that I have found um, between the years of 1970 and 1980. That is in great shape. It looks almost better than some of the, uh, the new dimes that I found in here. So I'm definitely going to hold on to this bad boy. Look at that finish right there. And look at that blue nose. That is a very pronounced strike. So I think this is a specimen. If you guys want to let me know what you think, let me know down in the comments below. But I'm going to throw this up on the board. Keep going along. Pray for some more silver. And if not, maybe some other goodies. Well, I have completed this box. And unfortunately, we did not find any silver, especially in those green tape rolls. We didn't find anything good in there. But this hunt is not over yet. We still have a few more rolls to hunt. These are clear rolls. That's why I saved these for last because they are very annoying. The only thing that I found that is interesting at all is I found this, which is kind of an interesting toner. It's a little hard to see there, but it's definitely got some interesting tones going on. But I'm guessing this is most likely artificial toning on there caused by fire, or flame, or heat. But uh, the reverse on this doesn't have any of that toning going on. So... I'm not too sure, but it looks pretty cool. I don't come across dimes with toning like this very often, so I'll definitely hold on to this. But we got a few more rolls to go. These clear rolls are a little tricky. When you check them for inners, a lot of the time you can see US, and a lot of the time it's really hard to spot the silver because these nickel coins will really stand out, and they can look a lot like silver. I'm not too sure if you guys can see those. But the nickel coins are definitely a lot brighter than their steel counterparts, and they can throw you off a little bit. But I checked all of the inners on all these rolls and we have a few promising looking dimes in here. But let's start getting into these and we'll see if maybe we can top this hunt off with a little more silver. But you know, it hasn't been too bad so far. We got some good stuff. Let's get into these rolls. 
Alrighty guys, I have concluded this hunt. Before I start wrapping up all of these awesome finds, I'd really appreciate one more time if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and you'd like to see more videos just like this. And let's show you the goodies we managed to score today. So I made sure to keep off all of the 1968s in this hunt, even the ones that are made of nickel. Um, a lot of people aren't aware, but in the year 1968 for the Canadian Dimes, we actually contracted the Philadelphia Mint in the United States to make some of the nickel dimes. I don't know if it's because we split the composition between silver and nickel, and they had a hard time with that, but I made sure to hold on to all of my nickel 1968s. I counted nine in total. Now, that being said, I also like to hold on to my 1969 dimes because they are also made of nickel, and they have a very rare variety for 1969 called the large date now when it comes to actually finding this variety it can be really hard especially if you're just finding one at a time and looking it under your scope so my suggestion is actually to stock the 1969 dimes up and then look at them all when you have about a rolls worth or when you have like 10 or more i would say and then that way you can kind of compare the dates on them and if any of them really stand out then you can really have something substantial and if any of them stand out you can have something substantial to actually base what you think the large date is off of rather than just throwing a random 1969 under the scope and being like whoa whoa I have a large date I mean chances are 99.99999 percent of the time you do not have a 1969 large date now we found some really cool tokens and foreign coins in this hunt we have this Toronto transit token now I am not too sure of the year but it looks pretty old it looks like it could be from anywhere from the 60s to the 80s I would say but hey it could even be pretty recent I'm not sure when they instituted electronic payments and regular coins on the transit systems but pretty cool little token there we got that Jamaican one dollar found a few of those in my hunts in the past we got ourselves that really cool five centimos now unfortunately it is not made of silver that would make it a little cooler but it is an oldie 1958 I do believe it's the oldest coin that we found in this hunt so this is a cool little foreign coin I will add to my foreign book and collection we found ourselves two British five pence I found one more a little bit later in the hunt not as nice as the first one but they are pretty common to find in your dime hunts because the rims on them are pretty thick so sometimes people will throw them in that way they can get away with shorting a couple of dimes in the rolls those scoundrels we found ourselves a really cool toner in this hunt. I don't find toner dimes too often. Most likely I'm banking on this being artificially toned, but that's still all right. I will take it even though someone may have tampered with it themselves. It has a little bit of a gross reverse on it, but still pretty cool. Now, I found a few what look like uncirculated dimes. Now, this one is gonna be in the worst condition. This one is in slightly better condition. And this one is that dime that I said looks like a specimen now most likely I'm gonna throw these two back because they aren't looking too nice but I actually kept them here just to kind of show you guys how much this one stands out now I'm just gonna to touch it one more time I'm sorry if you guys are cringing at me touching this bad boy right here but for the date of being an 80s dime this thing is extremely lustrous it has a amazing cameo I'm guessing that it came out of a proof set if you guys want to let me know what your theory is down below I would appreciate that but it stands out much more than the other uh, 80s and 70s dimes that I found in this hunt, even the ones looking really nice. And honestly, looks a lot nicer than even some of the 2000 stuff that I found. So this is definitely a keeper. I'm going to throw it in a flip right after this hunt. Just look at that blue nose right there. That is just a punchy blue nose. And then guys, we found ourselves silver in this hunt. Now, we didn't find a lot of silver, and I got a little bit closer of a look at this, and it is a 1968, so it is a 50 percenter. But I'm not going to complain. Silver is silver. And we found all these other goodies as well. This was a pretty fun hunt. You know, dimes can be a little dry when it comes to Canadian. But when you find these foreign coins, when you find a little bit of silver, when you find stuff like this really nice specimen over there, it can really spice up your hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. If you want to let me know what your favorite find was down in the comments, I'd appreciate that. I'd like to thank you all so, so much for watching, guys. Until the next one, everybody. Peace out and have a good one, y'all.